What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. And it is a Monday preview that we're going to be showing up here. So obviously, in-game at the moment, we do have the ongoing uh, special player list, as we do all every week. And we do have these Spanish League attackers, and we do have these uh, Puyol Casillas and Edmilson special cards within the Spanish League Guardians, right? So I'm actually going to go over and we're going to do a quick, as we do every Sunday or every weekend, we do a quick preview of what's to come on Monday. So we're actually going to head over here and take a look at what is coming um, on Monday. If you've missed my V3.2 co-op chat video or the legend review on Puyol, Edmilson or Casillas, you can check it out. Link should be in the description below or else they will will be after this video but we will be getting an Italian league selection so we're going to be starting with midfielders here on the 4th of December and of course we have Anguisa to kick it off now none of these player levels are 100% uh, accurate so Anguisa could be level 29 but he could also be level 27 he could be level 32 it doesn't really uh, it, we don't know until the actual database is updated when the game is updated right but even at this, lads, I mean, Anguisa is a fantastic player, really, really solid player. I've had him in multiple playthroughs on my other account, and this card looks to be very aggressive, very strong. He's actually very fast as well. I mean, any DMF that can kind of go into the direction of this with physical contact very high, defending very high, and also have 75 plus acceleration and a little bit of passing is going to be... It's going to be somebody that piques my interest a little bit, right? We don't need too much passing with him or lofted pass or low pass. We also don't need tight possession and dribbling. We might as well go a little bit there. But where I'd be going with this guy, lads, is either kind of a monster, kind of like um, chasing everything, or else I would probably go defensively. Um, that's probably where I'd go with him, to be fair, um, just to kind of have a little bit more zip to him, right? So 95 aggression. 88 defensive awareness and tackling, and then 90 engagement as well. Very solid if he does have 29 levels, right? But let's see what he does have. We also have Renato Sanchez. So I'll keep this video short and sweet, lads. There's a couple of players to focus on here. Again, Renato Sanchez, he's got 32 levels here. I don't think he'll have that many levels, but sometimes the younger type players do. Uh, again, you're looking at, you know, 80 and 80 for his speed and acceleration. You're also looking at 80 for physical contact. And of course, you're looking for 80 low pass. You're looking for 80 tight possession. And then, of course, the rest can go into defense, which isn't a bad card. Uh, very, very solid box to box. He does have double touch as well. Fratesi, he has double touch as well. Uh, if we want to take a look there, we do have a fairly decent card. It's an okay central midfielder. I mean, a lot of these cards, when you're looking at them, um, you know, they don't really... I, I just feel like where the game is at at the moment, lads, there isn't enough players. Um, there are There's too many players that are similar, you know what I mean? So it's very, very hard to uh, suggest one above the other because they're all very similar. McKinney is the same, another central midfielder. He's got one touch pass. You also have Adley. This guy is from AC Milan. Very, very solid player, kind of whole player attacking midfielder. Very nice card, but just somebody that, again, you're not going to... For somebody like me, he's not going to get a sniff at my bench because of my main squad is just so overpowered, right? But we do have a couple of more Salimekers. We have uh, Ederson, and of course, we have Zamarzic as well. But the all eyes will be on, right? So that's the Italian League selection pack, right? All eyes will be on the Legends because they have added Hullet, um, who you see down here as an attacking midfielder. Hullet is going to be pretty broken with the booster, depending on what booster they give him, because he's got passing, speed, pace, power, strength, brilliant player skills, and of course, he does have um, that defense and aggression as well because he was quite an aggressive player. Um, very, very solid player. If he has 29 levels, this is going to be a very, very solid meta card if you're into that sort of thing. We also have Pirlo. So Pirlo is down with 24 levels here. He will 100% have at least 27 levels um, and that will push him into the upper echelon of really good deep midfielders um, that sit back. Now, he's down as an orchestrator. He does have some good player skills. Um, he's down as an orchestrator, but I do feel like that with Pirlo, you're either going to be using him as kind of like an anchorman without being an anchorman, or else you're going to be just using him as a pass master, as a central midfielder, and having somebody beside him in maybe like a triple pivot or a double pivot. Um, so you've got your deep line anchorman, you've got your box to box, and then you've got your Pirlo-esque type player, or in fact have Pirlo by himself. Um, would be beastly and then we also have Sergio. so all of these players yeah I mean listen a lot of people have been waiting for Pirlo I know a lot of people have been waiting for Pirlo and that's fair enough um there's a lot of stuff to to like about that card I personally feel like at the moment that Puyol is probably one of the best um that they've had 
I do feel that Pirlo is one of the best that they've that they've had in the game for a while. Or Puyol is one of the best in the game that they've had at a while uh, for a while. Um, but if you are looking at the likes of Pirlo there with the player skills, one touch pass and true pass and low lofted pinpoint and weighted, he's down as an orchestrator. He's going to be set on B form. He is a very very solid card. There's no doubt about it. But it'll all depend on what um level he's at because if he does have a level that's at least 30 he's going to be incredible like he's going to be absolutely insane um so you've got 85 ball control there 88 type possession and low pass that's going to be pushed up with another maybe six levels into him even 28 levels you're going to be able to get that aggression pretty much up over 85 the acceleration up to about 82 and then the tight possession the passing and all of those stats that are going to be into the 90s so it's going to be an insane card and he's still fast lads he's still a mobile well enough in fairness to him and a lot of people say that Pirlo is very hard to get past as well so that is it for me let's just a quick Monday preview with the Italian player pack that we have there um the Italian league selection and of course the legends Hollett, Serginio and Pirlo so let me know what you guys think don't forget to like and subscribe will you spin or will you skip I know a lot of people have been waiting for the main man Pirlo so interested to see what booster he gets until the next time peace